know there's a shortage of nurses, Arnold. I know that. Now, I, do, I don't care if three dozen crawled in sick. I need help. Today, not tomorrow. Send somebody, anybody. Otherwise, I am going to go to the board on this one, Arnold. Uh, Dr. Riverside, there's a woman in here. Conscious? It, well, it's only... Good. If she knows anything about nursing, tell her she's got a job. Careful, Duvet. Now, that's not a crate of bananas. Uh, excuse me, gentlemen, please. Thank you. Would you mind clearing away? Easy. Easy. That's it. All right, this way. That's right. Now, clear the way, please, man. Clear the way. Thank uh, you. Uh, uh, just a moment, madam. Uh, madam, you uh, you can't bring that. Didn't you hear what I said? Clear the way. No, Look. but you didn't hear what I said. You may not bring that into here. But this is San Francisco Memorial, isn't it? Yes, it is, but this is the emergency entrance. Of course it is. Now, would you please tell me where the executive offices are? Oh, will you take the elevator and go to the second floor? Thank you, sir. No, wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. No, you can see... Um, Come this you may... way, ma'am. That's it. Uh, just a moment, lady. I, I don't think you understand who you're talking to. You see, I am the chief of emergency services. Good for you. Thank you very much. This is my corridor. I don't know who you are or what's in that box, but you can't... We'll uh... find out. Second floor. Thank you so much. Poor dear. wonder what's in that box. Come now, John. Surely you can afford to give me a few extra nurses. Therein lies the catch. There are no extra nurses, Arnie, and the ones that we have are overworked. But well, this won't be work. I just need them to show a few of the board They are nurses, Arnie, not tour guides. What am I going to do? They're coming today, and they're expecting a complete tour. Hire someone. I can't. You know how tight the budget is. Then tell that to the board of directors when you're giving them the tour. Oh, Dr. McIntyre, I tried to stop her, but she just barged in and went right into your office. I told her she wouldn't do that, but she wouldn't listen to me. I don't know why she wouldn't listen to me, because I was just staying there. She wouldn't tell me, and she wouldn't say, and I know I asked her, because you always tell me to ask anyone whenever they come into your office. It's okay, Dee Dee. Don't worry. Take a breath. Trapper, darling. Look! Lily, well, this is quite a surprise. But, uh, what is all this? Is it incredible? It's called the throne of truth. You see, they can always tell when you're lying. I bought her from a dear little man in Kenya, a witch doctor of the Boombatu tribe. Boombatu? Mm. I spent a month with them. Oh, lovely people. So real. Don't you just adore it? <laughs> what can I say? Uh, don't say anything. <laughs> just give me a big hug. Big hug coming up. <laughs> oh. Mm. Good to see you. Melanie didn't tell me you were in town. Well, I don't tell my daughter everything. I want to be a surprise. Besides, I wanted to see my very favorite son-in-law first. Oh, Trapper. It's been so long. Too long. As a matter of fact, why don't we talk over old times at lunch? Sushi? Perfect. Ah! Can't. Oh. Got scads to do. But I had to drop this off first before it rotted in the sun. But we'll have time to catch up tonight at dinner. Dinner? Mm-hmm. Gotta run. Late. Dinner? Tonight? Sure, tonight. See you at home. Oh, are you all right? Is there anything I can do? Is there anything I can get you? Would you like a glass of water? Tell to turn the thermostat down. It feels like the Sahara Desert in here. Yeah, 3 West. Can I help you? No, no, hang on, hang on. 3 West, can you hold, please? Thank you. Yeah, this is 3 West. Hold on, please. All right, this is 3 West. Hang on, please. Gloria, what's going on? What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. I'm on the last legs of a double shift, all because Myers and Peterson decided to quit today. That's what's going on. Yeah, 3 West. Hang on, please. This is crazy. I can't stay here. Well, don't look at me. I've changed three IVs, two beds, a television channel, given four shots, two back rubs, rescued a box of candy from Mrs. Sloan, hand-fed Mr. Murgatroyd, and... <sighs> Forgot about Mr. Wanamaker's bedpan. Melanie? 
Tell me we didn't have any plans for tonight. Why, Trapper, darling, you didn't have to call me in the middle of the day just to tell me that. Tell you what, all I wanted to know was if we had any plans for tonight because I just had... Wonderful. No, no, I, I don't think we need anything from the store. Uh, just, uh, be home here as soon as possible. I prepared a nice, quiet little dinner, just the three of us. Oh, of course I will. <laughs> me too. What? You too what? Oh, Trapper, not over the phone. <laughs> All right. See you at eight. It's called a telephone. It's great for calling women. Not when you had a call from your ex-wife to remind you you had a date you didn't remember. That is, if that was my ex-wife. What is this? Never mind that. What's this? Uh, take a look. Those are Mr. Wanamaker's x-rays. I think this is still breathing. Looks like a fractured wrist. I thought he had a gastric ulcer. Well, oh, now he has a fractured wrist. He was ringing for a nurse to help him out of bed. I guess he couldn't wait any longer, so... Uh... If you're talking about Mr. Wanamaker's wrist, I can explain. It wasn't Gloria's fault. Oh, won't you come in? She can't be in 20 places at once. And neither can the other nurses. We're just too short-handed. Well, I was saying just the very same thing to Slocum a while ago. What's he doing about it? Well, what he usually does, nothing. And the more he does nothing, the more nurses keep quitting. And the rest of us get overworked. And the more you put up with it, the more he does nothing. Can the chorus join in? We've complained, but it doesn't do any good. Maybe if a doctor said something? We do. We're always complaining about the shortage. But no one asks why there's a shortage. And nobody understands our problems. How can we? We're not nurses. That may be the answer, Trap. If a doctor took a nurse's shift, then he'd know what it was really like. Aha. Uh -huh. Not a bad idea. Huh. And after about a week or so, he'd know the problems firsthand. And we'd have a spokesman. That's right. Then you'll do it. Who? You. Me? But you just said that's what we need. I know, but, uh... And besides, we could use the extra help. Uh, I, I can't. I'm, I'm very busy. I knew it. He couldn't stay on that white charger for long. Well, wait a minute. I'm not saying I don't want to do it. It's just... Everybody here knows me too well. You know, it, it, for something like that to work, they'd all have to be able to forget I was ever a doctor and... We'd forget. The trapper needs me. I could spare you for a week. You could? Yes, I'll rearrange the schedule right away. Well, let's think about this. I'll talk to the nursing supervisor. Well, now, wait a minute. I... Wait, would you... I was hoping she'd take this back to x-ray. Well, that's all right. You can uh, do it yourself. After all, you're a, you're a nurse. Now, remember... Where's your laundry room? Laundry? Yes, I want to get rid of these and get some clean towels. Those are the clean towels. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, I can get you some others. No, no. It's quite all right. I mean, if you say they're clean, then... <laughs> Look, why don't I just get you no, some... No, you're much too busy. Listen, why don't I do what you're doing? Let me finish what you're doing in the kitchen while you change. I have changed. Is that what you're wearing for dinner? Something wrong with it? Well, no. I mean, I suppose it's all right to cook in your old prairie clothes. <laughs> what are we having, a barbecue? <laughs> How's your room, Mom? Oh, it's all right, I guess. I still can't understand how you could give up that big, beautiful house for this. Big, beautiful house? I thought you hated it. Well, since the kids are away at school, it seems silly to have all that room. No. <laughs> I guess not, but I'm spoiled. Your father, God rest his soul, always insisted on having a big house. But then we did so much entertaining. God, I miss him. Dad was pretty special. Yeah, special. He was the best. Of course, we had the best marriage. Mm. But then, you know what that's like. You feel the same way about Trapper. Right. A man like that. No woman could ever let him go. A sherry? Oh, no, I'm looking forward to having a martini with Trapper. I better go finish unpacking. Trap. 
Piper, darling. I hope I'm supposed to be here. You weren't very clear on the telephone. Did you forget your key? Hey, on time for dinner. <laughs> I'll bet that doesn't happen much, does it? No, not much anymore. <sighs> oh, Trapper, I know what an imposition this is. I mean, to have a guest popping in unexpectedly. It's lovely of you to have. Oh, Mother, that's all right. You all unpacked? Uh, just about. But, Trapper, uh... You left your robe in the uh, guest bathroom. I did. And that's funny, because I thought you always hated green. I do. Oh. Uh, darling, while Mother's unpacking, could I see you for a moment in our bedroom? Huh. Our bedroom? <laughs> I can explain everything. Start. It's just a small mix-up, that's all. Uh, I, I tried to call, but you were in surgery. What sort of mix-up? I never told her about the divorce. You never... Why? It never came up. In six years? She's been busy, I've been busy. It never seemed the right time. Melanie... Well, you know how she is. Ever since she's retired, traveling from country to country, always on the move, my letters never reach her, and I never could seem to get the subject of a divorce in a telegram. No, she's got to know. I know. I thought maybe after dinner we could sit her down, offer her a brandy. Where are you going? Well, I am not going to be a party to this. I mean, if you're too afraid of your mother to tell her, then... I am not afraid of my mother. Oh, yes, you are. You've always been afraid of her. I'm just asking you to go along with me on this one little thing. That's little all. thing? You're being stubborn. You're being childish. Where are you going? Somebody has to tell her. Trapper! Come on, Melanie. She's a big girl. She can take it. Trapper, don't you dare. I'm just asking for one little favor. That's all. Just one. Ah. Sorry about the delay. Little discussion we were having. Oh, I remember those little discussions. You all right? Oh, of course I'm all right. Just a little... All right, easy, easy. Oh, you told her! No, I didn't. You told me what? Oh, mother. Oh. Mother, what is it? Mm. Trapper, what's wrong? I don't know. Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> no, I mean it, Charlie. Appendectomy, isn't it? How the mind goes. Come on, we're expecting a hot appendix, right? So? So, take a look. There was nothing wrong with it? You took out a perfectly good appendix and there was nothing wrong with it? Well, that's what we usually do in cases like this. Usually? You mean this happens a lot? No, of course not. We found some enlarged lymph nodes in the mesenteric area. Produces the same symptoms as appendicitis. Fever, abdominal pain, elevated white count. Talk English, please. We'll put her on medication. Watch her carefully. Probably clear up on its own. On its own? You never did like Mother, did you? <laughs> Look, Melanie, why don't you go home and get some rest? You'll be able to see her by visiting hours. You won't see her first, will you? Don't worry, I won't tell her. That's your job. Yes, yes, it is. I know. But maybe it's not such a good idea telling her now. I mean, she's just been through surgery. Look, Melanie, the news isn't going to kill her. She's going to learn about the divorce sooner or later. I know. Then it's your job to tell her. Okay. Okay, I will. Today. Today, right. First chance I get. Oh, a nurse? Yes, doctor. Uh, nothing. Oh, come on, Jack. I remember our agreement. I, I know. Gonza. This is ridiculous. I can't do this. Jackpot, I'm a nurse. It's my job. It's what I do. What do you want? Take this down to the lab and tell them to do it stat. Sure. If it's okay with you. Uh-uh. Since when do you pamper the nurses? 
That's right. I'm just an ordinary nurse. No special privileges. That's right. So you can take these to the pharmacy, pick up Mr. Inouye's medication while you're at it, and when you get back, start on the treatment list. Check. So do you need any help with the IV in 312? Of course not. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to take this to the lab, these to the pharmacy, pick up Mr. Inouye's medication, take care of 312, and see to the treatment list. I don't know why there's such a shortage. This job's a cinch. <laughs> He's holding up great. He should. He's been on for only ten minutes. Hello, Mother. How do you feel? Well, I'd feel better if we weren't so dismal in here. Be a darling and open the curtains, will you? Oh, sure, sure. Maybe these will help. Oh, how nice. Carnations. Is that all they have? Carnations, I forgot. You hate carnations. It I... completely slipped my mind. They're your least favorite flower. I don't hate them. Well, are you up to visitors or do doctors count? Doctors don't count. But if you are a visitor, I am delighted to receive you. Oh, how pretty. Oh, my favorite. I guess I'll have to forgive you for cutting me up. Lil, we couldn't take a chance. With all those symptoms, we just had no way of knowing. You don't have to explain to me. I guess my body just needed a little attention. <laughs> oh, they are so nice. Oh, they're even lovelier than the ones you sent me on my birthday. Oh, you, you remember that beautiful bouquet we picked out together? Oh, yes, that one. I was surprised to receive anything. I mean, after all, with you two in Paris at the time. Paris? Oh, yes. Uh, when were we in Paris? Uh, we had some extra money at the time. We did? Yes, I, I think it was a bonus or something. Darling, I want you to show me the pictures. Oh, yes, I'd love to see those myself. Somebody call for a nurse? Yes, I, I wanted some ice water. So how nice, but why are you... Uh, Lil, this is uh, Gonzo Gates. He's going to be your nurse. Nurse? Hi. This is my mother-in-law, Lily Townsend. Your mother-in-law? She came in for appendicitis. Which turned out not to be an appendicitis. Oh, well. <laughs> Things are never what they're supposed to be, I suppose. No, no, they're certainly not. Well, I'll take good care of her. You know, you have no sensitivity, Traveler. That's your problem. Oh, that's my problem. Excuse me, could you tell me which way is 311? Well, 311, that's Mother's room. Mother, are you Lily Townsend's daughter? Yes. I, I'm Dr. Chambers, a personal physician, just in from Palm Springs. Hello, I'm John McIntyre. Well, her son-in-law. <laughs> oh, your mother and I go way back. I knew her when she still had that law firm in the East. Maybe she feels comfortable having me around. I, I brought her medical records. I understand. I'll see that you get temporary staff privileges. If you would, thank you. So, finally we meet John McIntyre. Lily's mentioned you so often. <laughs> well, we have a lot to talk over. I'll just look in on the patient, and then maybe we can get together and discuss her case. Fine. And tell you what, I'm staying at the Beecham Court. How about the two of you having dinner with me tonight? Well, I'd love to, but I, I have a date, and, uh... Surgery. I see. Well, maybe later. In my office? Very good. Well, I've got to be running along. Nice meeting you, Dr. Chambers. Thank you. I'll see you later, Di. Yeah, don't wait up for me. My surgery may take all night. I'm sure. Oh. Well, this was an unexpected moment. <laughs> I'll look in on the patient. All right, last door on the left. Thank you. in the doctor's lounge. Uh, I hate to break it to you, pal, but you can't stay here. Oh, come on, you guys, give me a break. 
As long as you're a nurse, you can't stay in the doctor's lounge. That's right. You see, Gates, if we let one nurse in here, then we'll have to let all the nurses in here. Pretty soon, there won't be any more room for the doctors. You know how it is, Gons. Rules are rules. Well, that's a dumb rule. The nurse's lounge is all the way down the other end of the hall. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Gates. You will have to go. <sighs> No special favors, a nurse remember? Is a nurse huh? is a nurse. Huh? You told us to treat. I you. know, like a nurse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but Cynthia, it's the tourist season. All the wrong people will be there. <laughs> it's your vacation. You can do what you like. Oh, gotta go. The nurse I was telling you about, the gorgeous hunk, he's here. He can't keep his hands off me. Goodbye, darling. Give my love to the Baron. Baron, huh? I'm impressed. Don't be. He's a phony. I hate that, don't you? I mean, when people try to be something they're not. Yeah, it takes guts. You're not eating. You didn't eat your breakfast, either. Well, that reminds me of a dreary dinner I once had in Lamu. At least try and get some fluids, down you? We don't have to put you back on IVs. To tell you the truth, Toots, my tummy's just not up to it. You're running a fever. Yeah. We better run some tests and check it out. I'll look back in on you later. Thank you, nurse. I'll be here. What do we got tonight? Uh, everything. Keep Wiley NPO till the doctor sees him. Road spike to temp at 6 p.m. On antibiotics? Mm, not yet. We just called the doctor for the order. And uh, we're keeping an eye on Mrs. Bowling. She's taking double meals from the card. She doesn't eat. She likes the china. Watch her. That's Mrs. Bender. You want to see what she wants? Me? There's nobody else around. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll take the phone. Why don't you go see what she wants? I've been on my feet all day, too, you know. No, it's not that. It's just... Uh, Mrs. Bender's a little strange around male nurses. Oh, well, a lot of patients are like that around the opposite sex. She'll get used to you. It's all part of being a nurse. She gropes. Like I said, it's all part of being a nurse. Mm. Gates, where is she? Gates? Nurse Gates. Oh, um, just left for room 312. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for Nurse Gates. I'm Gates. Can I help you? That your signature on this chart? Lillian Townsend? Yes, it is. You ordered all these tests? Yes, sir, I did. Since when does a nurse order procedures? Is that something new around here? Well, she's had a persistent uh, fever and... Oh, uh, I can see that on the chart. Thank you. I just thought that... Uh... You thought? Did you ever think of consulting the doctor before actually ordering tests? Those symptoms could have a dozen other causes. Yes, I know that. And I suggest, if you want to practice medicine, you go to medical school. You've deliberately broken the rules. Now, we're going to look into this, and it could very well cost you your job. to be done. What's wrong with that? Wrong had nothing to do with it. You were out of line. I had to do ten choruses of the groveling nurse to stop Chambers from taking your job. You can't fire me. I'm a doctor. Not this week, you're not. Unless you're throwing in the towel. No, I'm not throwing in the towel, but come on. You saw the Townsend chart. With symptoms like that, those tests should have been routine. It is not up to the nurse to make that judgment. What judgment? 
I was more observant, that's all. I spent more time with her. Chambers comes in for a lousy ten minutes, he marks her chart, and he leaves. I spent the whole day on that shift. I saw the way she responded to the medicine. I saw the way her fever rose steadily. I'm not supposed to have any input or take any initiative. Not unless the doctor asks you. Well, that's hogwash. That's nursing. <sighs> okay, what am I supposed to do? Just keep my mouth shut and wait until he happens to order the right tests? I'm sure he'll order them eventually. You mean when it's his idea? <laughs> Welcome to the wonderful world of nursing. All right, it's getting late. Get back to your rounds. What if we do the test without his authorization? One more time, not without a doctor's signature. And that's what I'll get. And, uh... We have to talk. And not now. Anyway, as Something I Something damp around here? I haven't been able to get off at a decent hour... Mildew, maybe? ...the last couple of nights. Right. Mm-hmm. I know, I know. Does it bite? Do you mind? Sorry. Yeah, what? No, 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 no. <laughs> No, Monica. I... Monica? Said that someone invited themselves in, and it's a little hard to carry on two conversations at the same time. Oh, darling, don't let me stop you. Go right ahead. Anyway, I just thought maybe tonight we could, uh... Right. Mm-hmm. You got it. Sure, I could bring... Uh... Yeah, look, could I get back to you on this? Right. Me too. Bye. You got five minutes. Fine, that's all I need. I just want some answers. About? Well, I think it's a little strange, that's all. Mother's been here for three days, and she seems to be getting worse instead of better. Melanie, why are you talking to me? Why don't you talk to Dr. Chambers? After all, he's handling her case. Ah, uh, but I don't know Dr. Chambers. Well, that's funny. He knows all about you. All about us. All about our trip to the Bahamas last year? <laughs> Believe me, your alimony wouldn't have covered a trip to the... Four minutes. I don't know why you're being so difficult. Because I am sick and tired of this little charade that we've been playing. Because my personal life has been on hold ever since your mother got here. I promise, just as soon as mother's better, we'll go in there together No, no, and... no, 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 no. Maybe six years ago, we could have gone in together. I am not about to take responsibility for a lie you have been living since then. You can do that on your very own. But couldn't you just... No. Trap, I need to get it. Who can figure it? Where do you think you're going? I need your help, Stan. Uh, 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 uh. Doctor's Lounge, you can't be here. I need a doctor. Can't we just talk? Not here. In the corridor. No reason why I can't be in the doctor's lounge. Ah, 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 ah. Now we can talk. I need you to order some tests on Mrs. Townsend. Mrs. Townsend? Trapper's mother-in-law. Ah, yes, but why me? Doesn't she have her own physician? Yes, but I can't find him. Well, Gates, that's not my bailiwick. Why don't you just wait for the doctor? Come on, Stan. All I need is a liver scan and some serologic tests. But he might take offense. I mean, it's his patient. <sighs> yeah, you're probably right. Just thought it might give you two an excuse to talk. Why would I want to do that? Well, no reason, really. It's just that she's a member of the Jet Set, and so are you. I thought you might know some Jet Set? People. Well, she doesn't know as many as you. Melanie's mother's a member of the Jet Set. Oh, well, sure she is. You wouldn't believe some of the people she knows. Prince Renier? You know Prince Renier? <laughs> you want to go so small. I mean, why don't you spend any time there? It's just like one big, happy family. Mm, yeah, that's what I've heard. I mean, that's what they told me when I stayed there. <clears throat> oh? Where did you stay? 
Oh, a little place uh, by the beach. That must have been the Rue de Lille. That's the one. Listen, you know, I have got a great idea. I'll just bet my dad, the chairman of the board, would love meeting you. When you're better, why don't we all have dinner together? You could bring Melanie. Bring Melanie? Hmm. And whoever she's dating, of course. Dating? You know, I've always had sort of a secret yen to ask her for a date myself, but ever since she and John got their divorce, she has had her pick of suitors. She's still seeing that lawyer, that, uh, what's his name, um... What? Oh, you don't know about the lawyer? No, I don't know about the lawyer. Uh, well, well, anyway, I want to order some additional tests for you, so we'll take you down to X-ray, and then after that, to the lab. <laughs> Feeling. Never mind how I feel. We've got to talk. Now? Well, Mom, I'm... Tell that doctor or lawyer or whoever it is with the green robe to cool his heels. This is going to take a little time. I don't understand. Young lady, you've got a lot of explaining to do. I'll be right there. Can it wait, Stan? No, I don't think so. Take a look at this. This is a liver scanner, Mrs. Townsend. Why me? Where's Chambers? Well, see, it's kind of awkward. I ran his tests as a favor to Gates. I thought I he was going to... nothing had come of it, no one would be the wiser. Ammo biases, of course. Mm -hmm. She's been all over the world. Could have picked it up anywhere. Exactly. Have you talked to Chambers? I tried to, but I couldn't reach him. Okay. See, well, what I've got here is a kind of a problem of medical protocol, John. See, I don't want Chambers to think that I'm the one responsible. A good thing the scan was done. This kind of problem could take days to show itself. Okay, I'll make the changes. Uh, good work, Stan. Well, yeah. you can wait here. You might want to wait outside OR where they can find you. OR? Oh, uh, you, uh, you don't know. Know what? Where's my mother? Well, uh, Trapper came in to check her out a while ago. She was having pretty severe abdominal pain and uh, wasn't in very good shape. What happened? Well, it looks like uh, an abscess that ruptured into a peritoneal cavity. They had to take her directly to surgery. Riverside, isn't it? Yes. Uh, I'm Dr. Chambers. Yes, I know. Uh, Dr. Chambers, if you'll I just, just let me explain. I just in on my I... patient, Mrs. Townsend. I know. She's I really coming along I fine. I had no right. Dr. To... McIntyre did a marvelous job of surgery, and I owe him and you a debt of gratitude. After all, she is... Gratitude? Well, those tests you ordered saved her life. Very insightful of you, Doctor, and I'm glad to see this hospital is as conscientious as it is. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of it's instinct, but a little bit of luck. Whatever it is, it's commendable. You deserve credit for a brilliant diagnosis, Doctor. Excellent. Well, thank you. Just wanted to give credit where credit is due. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dr. Chambers, uh, I think there's something you should know. Ernie, join me. Hey, nice to see you. Nice to see you I was just having a cup of coffee, and a Danish, and a sandwich, and a triple scoop sundae. 
What, no tapioca? Oh, I don't know what it is, Ernie. I can't stop eating. You can't stop eating this? It happens whenever I'm nervous. There's nothing to be nervous about. Your mother would be fine. So I've heard. You mean you haven't seen her? Well, I didn't want to bother her so soon after surgery. I thought I'd be in the way. It's been two days. Trust me, she's strong enough now. That's what I'm afraid of. Can I level with you, Ernie? I've been eating everything in sight because I'm... Stalling. Well, wouldn't you? If your mother just found out you'd been divorced for six years? You mean you never told her? What is it about mothers? Yours, too? Mm. That special way they have of making you feel so, so... Guilty. Yeah, and so... Wrong. And so dumb. They're all alike. Wait a minute. We're both mothers. Well, we don't do that to our kids. Do we? No. Nah. Nah. Willoughby in 317 means vitals every 30 minutes. Every 30 minutes? Mm -hmm. Not wearing down, are we? She's so cheerful about it. Don't forget Sterling's. Uh, I know, to check his trait dressing. Have to light up his sits bath. Right. I suppose you want an apology. The only one around here who should apologize is me. Well, you? Dr. Riverside just told me you made him run those tests. Well, I didn't exactly make him. I suggested. It's a good thing you did. Trouble is, I was too pig-headed to take it from you. I'm very sorry. No hard feelings? <laughs> no. <laughs> You've taught me a lesson. Gates, you make one hell of a good nurse. Thanks. That's quite a compliment. you showed up. I thought I'd wait. I didn't want to upset you. It's not that I didn't check up on you. You look worse than I did. How do you feel? How would you feel if you'd been poked and prodded and cut up twice and then lied to you by your own daughter? I wouldn't like it. In fact, I'd probably be pretty mad. You have deliberately been manipulated. Manipulated? Aren't you the least bit curious why I never told you? Don't you want to know? Does it matter? Does anything about me really matter? Melanie, really? You breeze in and out of my life just long enough to tell me how wonderful your life is. Your fabulous friends, your trips, your achievements. Well, what about me? What about my friends, my achievements, my job at the store? That's why you lied to me? I lied because I didn't want to fail again in your eyes. Oh, Melanie, I mean, just because you botched up a message... See, to... I knew you'd say that. Somehow it would be my fault. Do you remember what you said when you first met Trapper? You were surprised I could land such a catch. Well, you know what, Mom? I think I was a catch, too, but I never heard it from you. I never knew you needed to. I guess I did. Your world was always the biggest, the best. How can anybody compete with that? Okay. So now you know we're divorced. But it wasn't my fault, Mom. It wasn't anybody's fault. Except maybe this hospital and his medicine. But while it lasted, we had a good marriage. In fact, we even have a good divorce. Can you imagine? I was going to run in here on my hands and knees, begging you to forgive me. A grown woman terrified of her own mother. I lied to you because I was afraid of you, but I'm not afraid anymore. I'm tired of trying to live up to what you think I should be. Because what really matters, Mother, is what I think. You know, that's true. 
Melanie. What's it like to be a buyer? How do you know what to buy? Over. You can go back to surgery. Right, and long coffee breaks. <laughs> and in honor of your hard work and dedication, we pitched in to get you a little token of our appreciation. Something to remember us by on those long, cold nights. Well, you shouldn't have. You really shouldn't have. <laughs> I know, I had a hard time getting Mr. Wanamaker to part with it. Oh, bad. Use it in good health. You were great. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, well, listen, I got something for you guys, too. Just a few things I've made note of these last few days. Actually, it's not so much for you as... Arnold! Oh, Gates, can it wait? I'm on my way to a director's office. Wait a chance, Arnold. I've got a list. You're going to listen. There's going to be a few changes made around here, starting now. Number one, with regard to the staffing of the nurses. Where are we going? My place. So long as you change those draperies. Well, you can change them to anything you like, as long as it's beige. Oh, really, Melanie? I like beige, Mother. It's a very good color for me. She'll never, never change. change. Four days a week in ten-hour shifts. All right, all right. Okay, number 23. 23? Employee rest area. Uh oh. Have you seen the furniture in the nurses' lounge? It's a disgrace. The couch alone must be ten years old. Now, why can't the nurses use the doctor's lounge? I've made a list of a few things that I think ought to be changed around here.